can't go to the playground and ask around for the new hot rumors, because I will definitely go to jail. Picture this image. You're just scrolling down YouTube since you already got enough PORN out of your system. You start scrolling down and find a video about four wall breaks in video games and listen to this. No matter how many times you watch The Shawshank Redemption, Andy Dufresne's gonna break out of prison, Brooks is gonna hang himself, and I'm gonna start sad drinking. There's nothing we can do to change that. So you enjoy it and then go watch this Pokemon collab video. Pokemon Red and Blue is a role-playing game released in Japan on February 27th, 1996 and September 28th, 1998 in the West. Released for the original Game Boy, which itself came out on April 21st, 1989 and in other places on these dates, it was directed by Satoshi Tajiri, who was born on August 28th, 1965 in Japan and has yet to receive an international release. Come on, Reggie, get your fucking act together. And then you lose your shit for how funny it is and then watch a video about graphics. I thought this was a video game channel, you weedy, spud eating cunt. Okay, so, ouch my feelings and that ladies and gentlemen is what i call instant love tom o'regan is the funniest most endearing and so non-politically correct channel that my mexican and parentally abused eyes and ears have ever witnessed what this channel goes on a major formula which is to establish a topic collect all the details that you can consider necessary and then grab that information into a comedy stand-up rewrite Sometimes it will be something more common YouTube content like the full war break that I mentioned, which is something that a lot of gaming channels will address here and there, but recently, and by that I mean about a year ago, he started doing these history videos on Greek mythology or real life events that have more movement and creativity than some actual channels dedicated to animation. What the fuck, man? Sure, sometimes you will literally get stock images with the watermark on them, but that doesn't ruin the immersion of the videos at all. The thing is, there's just a raw way of expression into his videos that helps me go back to a simpler time, back when we could actually talk about Nazis without having to think of extra credits. Now, that's not to say that things are worse, although they are in some places, but sometimes you just want to laugh rather than something more meaningful. Do you want to talk about the Black Plague? No? How about laughing at the Black Plague? Mr. Plague Man? Does burning Jews help balance the four humors? It certainly couldn't hurt, little boy! Hooray! As a common saying within my channel, talking about comedy videos is a tough concept because it's more subjective to tell why can something make you laugh rather than to make someone cry. Because I've seen movies be more accurate on hitting a sad and melancholy tone rather than one that can legit make you laugh. But if I can give the proper credit as to what comedic style is being applied on his work, I describe it as slappy. Let me explain. So, he talks for a good moment about the depth in which the intro of Final Fantasy X takes place, only to suddenly drop the crazy factor of Shadow the Hedgehog. And that's the major way both his jokes and his editing combine to make some of the most entertaining channels I have ever watched in my life. It's just him saying whatever he feels worth uploading, but also have fun with his own ideas and knowledge in the process. I can't help but feel that he writes the entire script first and then roasts the script and not that roast as part of it. It's brilliant and a channel that I honestly want you to check out. Subscribe, follow, and behold the craziness of a man that loves to join Step Brothers having sex. Step Brother? Oh my. Thank you so much for listening and join us next time when our next video will be how IVs in Pokemon are a metaphor for autism. Oh, so totally not Mark is the next channel. Awesome. IVs are how effectively your Pokemon hits the gym and IVs determine whether or not they're autistic. Tom, I, ca I can't read that one. You got you, you got to add that part out, yeah? Cool. Um.